We will explain about the biggest mistake people make when replacing brakes or working on the brakes. Stay with us until the end because that can guys destroy your vehicle or you can kill somebody. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys working on brakes on a car. If you replace brake parts, this scroller, it involved removing the brakes. We will explain about the biggest mistake people make that can actually guys cause you to wreck your vehicle immediately after you start it. Stay with us and we will explain about that. You think I'm kidding? I'm not because we did it ourselves. That was back in the day guys when uh, uh, we were still very young. Uh, money was more limited too. We had a Mitsubishi Eclipse, so that was really expensive at the time. We put new brake pads, and what to see, guys? Next uh, moment, we started, and it, we went right through the fence. Our brakes didn't work, so stay with us, and we'll explain what can cause that. So we'll share it with you guys, so you don't end up in that situation as well. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys, so videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave a comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money so what do we have here bmw x4 that we'll demonstrate on we just put new brake pads if you guys replacing brake pads these crawlers, anything like that, let's talk about that now. Every time you remove the brakes or replace brake pads, this crawler, you know, the new components will be thicker. And as a result, what will guys happen now? When they are thicker, guys, you need to compress the piston in the caliper. And when you compress the piston, guys, okay, later when you install it, you still have some play between the, uh, you can see, between the pads, okay, and the, the, uh, and the disc roller. So when you apply the brake the first few times, it will not work. See how we're turning the wheel now. We'll go inside. Let's demonstrate now. We're going to press the brake paddle. Simulate that you just started your car and you press the brakes. Hold it all the way down. One time, down. Check this thing now. Don't let go. And if I come here, we will have no brakes. I'm still spinning the wheel, right? Okay, no brakes. Now, what do you need to do in order to have your brakes work correctly? Always do that before you put your wheel on. Go ahead and pump that pedal at least 10, 20 times. You will start feeling it when it's engaging and always have one person hold the brake pedal and you go and test the brakes. Hold, let go. Okay, hold and stops. Now we have no play in the pad, so that definitely guys took care of it. So always do that before we put the wheels on because otherwise you can forget. That's what we did in the past a long long time ago. We forgot to put guys actually uh, we put the wheels on, we forgot to pump the brake paddle and the brakes didn't work the first few times. We hit them and we went through a fence. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.